Hello guys and how are you? So in this video we are going to learn about linear regression model, a machine learning project for house price prediction. We will be coding in Python. I have written this blog on my website studygyan.com. Links will be in description. All the required links will be in description. So before getting ahead, let's learn what is linear regression model in machine learning. A linear regression model is a supervised learning model for finding the relationship between independent variables and a dependent variable. You can think of height and weight. If a person is taller, then he is obviously going to have a more weight. We will be working on this usahousing.csv dataset. You can download it from here. And the problem statement is that a real estate agent wants a help to predict the house price prediction for a region in a USC. He gives you a data set and you decided to work on it using linear regression model. So let's jump to Jupyter Notebook and create the linear regression model for the data set. Okay. So in this folder, I have created the notebook and the USA housing CSV dataset is here. So let's jump to the notebook and create a model. So first we will be importing the libraries which we are going to use. So after importing the libraries, we will be importing the dataset. So house df is equal to pd.read CSV file name USA housing. Shift enter and it's done. Then we need to see the head of that data frame. So for that house dot head and it will give the first five rows of the data set. So let's see the info of that data frame. And what we here see that the average area all these are in float values and the address is in object it is obviously in a string value and we are having 5000 entries 5000 rows and seven columns now let's describe the data frame so house df dot describe and we can see the count mean standard deviation maximum min of the columns now we will see the columns of the data frame and these are the seven columns now we will be exploring the data set using plots so sns dot pair plot and the df house data frame and here we can see that our pair plot is here and we can see that the pair plot distribution is normalized it's in normalized form okay we can see the histogram in bell shape Okay, one more plot the heat map SNS dot heat map and it will show the correlation of the data frame. So house df dot core it's core for correlation and we will giving the anote which is stands for annotation is equal to true. Okay, and here is the heat map of it. So we can see that obviously the columns with the same columns will be having the correlation 100%. There is mostly no correlation between these and a high correlation between price and average area income. It's about 64 0.64 correlation so 
we have explored our data set okay using plots so now what we'll do we'll create the xy arrays the list for our model it's basically a feature so x is equals to house df double square brackets and here we will be adding these columns okay we will be copying it till here these are the independent variables of features okay and we will be keeping this as capital then y is equal to house df and that we will be giving price basically this is our target variable okay run this cell now what we'll do we'll create the training and testing data set from sk learn dot model underscore selection import train test split okay so if we can type train test split and shift tab we can see this after clicking on this plus button we can see here how we can how many variables we can import in it so copy this one and paste it here okay and here we are giving the x variable this one it is y variable and we are splitting our test size a test data basically what we are doing we are going to create the test size into 40 percent and we will be giving the random state at 101 this is optional okay so basically what this is going to do the train test split function will going to take these features and the target variable and it is going to create the two sets of data one is train set and test set the train set will be of 60 percent of the whole data frame and the test will be of 40 percent okay and it's going to store all the variables in these variables okay we'll run this cell and if we want to see the x train we can see it here and basically it is the same data frame but the subset of that data frame okay so now we'll import the linear regression model so for importing the linear regression model we will be importing it from sklearn linear regression okay run this one okay it's running then we'll be creating a variable and storing our object in it linear regression okay after creating the variable the object of linear regression we will be fitting the model inside it so lm dot fit and inside that x underscore train basically we are training our linear regression model and y train hit enter and we can see that our linear regression model has been now we will be evaluating our model we'll first see the coefficient of afdf and here it is so what this table is saying about the data frame about the data set so it is saying that if one unit increase then 21 dollar will be going to increase okay if one unit is going to increase the area income is going to increase by $21. So this is the obvious meaning of the coefficient. So we'll predict the model 
by using by creating a prediction variable lm dot predict and in that we will be giving the x test which is the test data set and hit enter then we will be plotting this prediction against the y test which is our target variable so plt dot scatter plot and in that y test comma and the predictions okay hit enter and we can see the scatter plot and one of the great thing one of the good thing of this scatter plot is that it is in line shape which says that our model has predicted very well if we see the disk plot using sns we see here that our model is in bell shaped the graph is in bell shape which is normalized and it says that our model is well predicted so that's it was in this video if you like my video please give a like share this video with all people and visit my blog studygyan.com where I share machine learning and data science tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.